Hey, divas and gents, good morning. Happy Saturday. So, I made these cards. I went a little ham <laughs> um, a couple days ago. So, I wanted to quickly show these before I put them up. And I went crazy Easter happy. Now, mind you, I don't do, I've never done Easter before, right? Nor did I really get into Valentine's because I was just Miss Bah Humbug about it. But, I don't know, this year, I was like, I just turned a whole new leaf. I I got a bunch of stuff for Valentine's, so I'm ready for next year. Apparently not this year. But Easter, I went nuts. So, and I'm like in love with the whole thing. So, yeah, expect this yearly. But anywho, let me dive in. Now, I didn't know Target you could buy stickers. Okay, so, um, I did not know, <clears throat> excuse me, American Crafts. Is it Crafts? American greetings, Jesus Louise, is a card. They do their cards, right? I happen to just be walking by and I'm like, oh my gosh, those stickers are kind of extra adorable. So it comes with two sheets. It's like three bucks. And these right here are, um, they have some dimension to them and they're like, they're not paper. I don't know if it's a plasticky type of thing, but it's not paper. So they're just so stinking adorable. Oh my gosh. In love. So I grabbed a pack of those and these ones are like, kind of like enamel. And these ones are also the same in their card section. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm in love. I could use these for my planner and whatever else. Right? So how stinking adorbs are those jelly beans, the little cute chickies, the eggs, and look at the little bunnies. Oh, I was in love. So they're kind of like an epoxy. Yeah, let's say epoxy. They're more epoxy. Um, really super cute. I was like, okay. So you get two sheets of those in here. Like they were three bucks each. So I just wanted to share that. I don't know if you guys knew that because I don't ever look there and I'm in Target all the time. So any hoot and nanny, let's go ahead and dive in. So let's start with the cards. No, no, actually, let's just start with these little shakers. Okay, so we all, I don't know if we all, but I'm going to say most of us got these little um, shakers that came with the stamps from um, Michael's and it came with cards that you're supposed to put them in and they even started selling dies because the white cardstock, you couldn't lay your paper on it unless you had a die that was the same as the shaker. So I didn't buy um, all of the other extra stuff, but I definitely got these shakers. I'm like, I'm gonna use these. I'm just gonna make these so that I can have them when I need them. To put on the middle of a rosette wand, to put on a card, whatever. So I just went ahead and I literally traced around, only because the circle dies I had were just either too short or way too big. So I just did that. These right here are um, cupcake, those little cupcake toppers. So I just, you can see right there, I took it, the stick out and I put stickles all the way around. I don't know if you're going to see that, but, um, I did put stickles all the way around and then this is my Martha Stewart bow. And then I just put a cute little heart resin there and I just put that on top. And of course the shaker bits, I just brought out, brought out all my shaker goodness and I just put them inside. So I absolutely love having these on hand. And then I did another one in a circle and I went ahead and this right here, you know, is the Hobby Lobby rosette. I just changed out the middle and I added a sentiment and I just put in a bunch of shaker bits of the color that coordinated with um, whatever paper I used. So I thought that was really cute. It's ready to go. And then I didn't do anything with the clouds because they're kind of small, but um, when I am ready to use these, then maybe I will go ahead at that time. But I was like, this is so cute. Just trace the paper and stick it on because these have adhesive on them. I don't remember the name of these. So if you ask me, I'm not going to know. Um, I just know that Michael's had these for a while and um, I'm a big I do not keep packaging and I'm really sorry about that, but I like to get everything and put it up. I don't like to keep packaging. So I tend to just chuck it. <laughs> and then they also had these cute little Mason jars. So I went ahead and I just added, you know, some die cuts that I have a box of a bunch of die cuts that either are gifted or I do myself or punches. And I just went through that. And I just put on this flower from my punch from Hobby Lobby, a Hobby Lobby pineapple punch. And then I have this heart all with glitter, just glitterific. 
And then, of course, all my shaker bits inside there. I love it. It's ready to go. Super duper. And then the last one I did is this other one. <clears throat> and I went crazy with adding. Oh, that's what I love about these containers because you can go nuts with adding shaker bits. And I think in this one I even put, no, I think it was in a different one where I actually put wood veneers. Um, anywho. So this right here is just a little tiny envelope. I forgot where this came from because I do not have a punch or a die that does these cute little ones. And um, this right here, um, Jennifer in a swap a long time ago had um, gifted me this cute little dragonfly. So I just put that on there and I put a little heart, which is just a glitter heart on top of there, just to add on top of it, to add some interest. But it's just ready to go when I need it. So that's it. All right, moving on. Now, look at these cards. Right? <laughs> I'm so in love. Look at that die. This is a Gina Marie die. And of course, my girl Bridget turned me on to this because she went and she bought this one. And then she has a video with four ways of how to use a die. And this was the one. And I, as soon as I saw that video, I was like, pause. I went over to Gina Marie's website. And I was so surprised they had these because these are sold out everywhere. And she had them and it was so inexpensive. I think it was like $6.50. Her dies, I, I know she didn't watch my videos, but oh my gosh, I have more of her dies. And I love that she does not kill you with how much she charges for her dies. And they work amazing. I cut them through glitter paper. They cut like butter. I mean, they're in the budget. She ships super quick, fair on shipping. She doesn't try to kill you in shipping either. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love her dies. So this die is adorable. So I ran it through twice, one in orange, one in yellow, and I just cut these out and I layered them on top of the yellow banner. And I just put these super cute little itty bitty re um, resin flowers for the booty butts, for the little bunny booty butts. <laughs> and um, these were from Michael's. And it's so adorbs, right? And I cut off, there was one more carrot here, one more carrot, and I just cut those off because it didn't fit. And I just used what was left over. I did not get to get a 12 by 12 of, because I want a doodle bug. And they're hard to get unless you are right when they say ready go, because come the end of the day, they're gone everywhere. So I was able to find single sheets. So when I, I just grabbed some of those and I wanted to use all of it. So I went and I got, these are Hobby Lobby um, dimensional stickers and I just created them. They're actually pretty simple cards and I just wanted to use this die so bad. Oh my gosh, in love. And then I just stuck cute little, I love itty bitty blings like this. I use them all the time. And then inside I just layered it and then I just put those super cute epoxy little eggs. I thought that was adorbs just to add in the inside. But right? Is that not like the stinking cutest? Okay, so that's one. And then I did this one. And this one right here is using um, <clears throat> Michael's little felties. And then all I did was add a cute little resin. And these are the Target finds like says hip hop these little felt flowers i just ripped out there was a bright yellow center so i just took it out and then i just put these cute little um flowers right here that are from michael's in here and the hip hop like it's that one sticker sheet so and this also came from that same sticker sheet so i used that and i'm like let's use up some of this stuff that i got <laughs> and i love how it came out oh my gosh this is so adorable Right, and I just used an edge punch. It's a Stampin' Up edge punch, and that's it. And then I put a couple of super cute little chickies in there. Adorbs. I don't, um, I don't do the backs, but is that not stinking cute? I love it. I love that I got to use stuff from my the dollar finds because I was like, ooh, <laughs> I tend to hoard. So okay, so this one right here you'll see is kind of similar to this one but I used different paper and the banners were different. So for this one, I used a really pretty pink glitter paper for the banner. And then I did the orange and I just cut out the carrots on that one and then cute little bunny butts. And then <clears throat> same concept. This way I can punch, I could do a bunch at a time when you just get your original little concept going, what you're wanting to do. 
So I just did the same type of die cut, stick, the same sticker, but of course it has a different colored little bow and the little, you know, pearl blings. Super cute. And I put a little bunny in the corner. Ready to go. Super duper cute. And these were my scrap pieces from previous cards that I made for Bridget. And these were what was left over um, on the 12 by 12 sheet. So I was like, let's use those because it was stamping up paper. And I was like, what? <laughs> That's kind of ridiculously cute. So... And look at this. I thought this was adorable. This right here, I did not make this. Um, Tara, who is Nurse Tara here. Hey, girlfriend. Um, she made some of these for me, I believe, last year. And she gifted me these. Oh, I have the other one. I have a couple of them in my planner right now. But I was like, how cute is that? Right? That is so extra cute. So, and all she, she got the um, bottle cap. She put these poxy, uh, or these stickers from the dollar store. So they got like domes on them. And then she created these super cute little charms on them. And then she just put them on clips. And then these right here, she shows, if you go to her video, she shows where you get these. Because it originally has something else from um, the Dollar Tree. And she pops it off and uses this portion of it. So she can put them behind the bottle caps. So you got to check out her um, video um, playlist to see how she um, does these. Because they're really extra stinking cute. So thank you, girl. So those are those three. Moving on. These are five by five cards, and I was able to get a sheet of the Doodle Bug cut aparts for um, Easter. So I was really excited about that. And um, so I just went layer crazy and um, I layered, you know, solid card stock. Look at that Doodle Bug paper, really? And of course, these are the die cuts from last year, when, you know, when they have stuff and then they go on clearance. I always get them because I just never know, especially doilies and stuff like that, die cuts. And then this right here is just a piece. I cut it out with a, um, my paper tray ink um, die. And um, so that it had this cute little stitching on it. And I just put a little pearl in the bunny bow and then added little pearls in the corners. And that was it. And I just layered the um, inside. And I just added another one of those cute little stickers. And that's it. Just something super simple and absolutely adorbs. I love these colors and kill them just dying. And then I did this one. <coughs> Excuse me. So I ran this through my die. And then this right here. These are dies from the Wish app that I've mentioned to you before. Now I've had some bad luck getting those dies where they came and they were awful. And I was really butthurt about it. And um I was just complaining to Tara about it. So I hadn't used this one yet. And I was like, well, it's the last set. I might as well try these and see if they are a bummer. And um, they worked like butter. <laughs> I was so excited. Because Tara buys these dyes from AliExpress or whatever. And they work fine. And I check the comments. So I always check before I just purchase. And I don't know. Maybe I just got a bad batch on that round. It was just two dyes. I didn't go crazy. But this one was only a dollar. And it came with this large one and the small one. And this is glitter paper from Hobby Lobby and it cut like butter and I did it multiple times because the other dies they ran through like butter the first and second time and then after that it was like it wouldn't cut no more so I did run these through a few times and they actually work so they have stems that go down but it's just underneath the cardstock so stinking cute this was the good dollar find <laughs> die so I'm excited because I actually really do like these so this is a cute little spread, and this is, of course, another one of those die cuts from Michael's, a doily from my stash, and then just, I ran that through a Sizzix, and it's just adorbs. And then these are just cute little jelly beans, because this is talking about jelly beans. <laughs> so super adorable. Okay, here's another one of those little cut-aparts from the same one sheet. I finished all of them, so I don't have any more cut-aparts. And uh, like I said, once you get an idea and you just can keep going, you know, they don't have to all be super different. So I did a few different doi uh, um, doilies. And then this, of course, is a die cut type doily. And I just put cute little bling. See, this is where these come in handy. I love adding these little type of things. It just makes the cards pop. Okay. And then on the inside, I just put a couple little eggs. I always line the inside. And then the last card is this one isn't she adorable i love it so simple these stickers were everything 
<laughs> so once again, I just layered and then I, that's all I did was just layer big all the way going into small, added the pearls, but see how amazing, same concept, different centers, but I was able to bust all of these cards, all of them in just one night. Because once you get that idea, you can bust them out. It's not like I did, you know, 10 cards off of just 10 different, totally different styles because that would have not worked in one night. So anywho, now let me show you my two big Mama Jamma ones. Um, these are uh, rosette ones, but they're the big Mama Jammas that I do four by 12. Three of those makes one of these. And these I think are like over eight inches um, in diameter. So <laughs> let's type in. I love it. Here, let me actually, let me see if I can raise this up because they're kind of, there we go. Love it. <laughs> so under here, you, this is the original rosette. And I did my edge punch um, all the way around on the 12 by 12 um, sheets. <clears throat> Four by 12 sheets, I'm sorry. And then I had these huge doilies from Michaels. Once again, you know, when they have their little seasonal uh, collections that come out they always clear in some so I grab on and then these right here are um, Martha Stewart flowers and I bought them a long time ago um, they don't carry Martha Stewart anymore at the Michaels I, I know about so I just started busting out old stuff and I put this on here these right here are butterflies that are from the Dollar Tree so I just put those on there I thought they were super cute Okay, this banner right here was made for me by Nat. We did a swap many moons ago and um, she was put some bling on it. So I, this is my last banner. I'm going to make some more miniature banners and I'm going to show you. Um, I used to make a lot of those and I'm in need of them. And then this right here is a shaker. So this is one of the dome um, little containers. So. These are just all the yummy finds that I put inside. And this beautiful trim right here was gifted to me by Elizabeth. Beady Bomb Bomb. Hey, Chica. Thank you so much. I have literally probably this much left. I need to know where to get some more of this. <laughs> so I put this on with glossy accent, not hot glue, because it went on plastic. And if you can see, I layered, 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 and then layered again. And then I just put this on top. And then this banner right here is not adhered in the middle so it flows but it's adhered on the ends and then they got the cute little bows then this super cute little butterfly just put another one of those little flowers in the center that was part of this flower pack so i wiped out the whole pack mind you i was hoarding these for years <laughs> and then i just i double did the straw so i had because this is top heavy so i got another straw i cut it all the way down the middle and i squeezed it tight and i shoved it all the way through and this is the back so this right here, these are to be gifted. So this is um, the little pockets that Bona showed how to do on the envelope punch board. So the pocket is back here. So you could put a gift card, you could put a little goodie of whatever you want. And then I just decorated them. And then this right here is a little, um, these are the cupcakes, little cupcake picks right here. And these were birthday ones. So I covered it with a cute little doily, a pretty little resin. I did, um, these are the cupcake little liners. So I layered a couple of them. And um, I watched Armin's video. She showed how to do um, the tutorial on these. There's a lot of different ways. It's amazing. <laughs> Louisa has one, but um, I did Armin's way. It was easier for me until I guess I get it. But see, you could use the whole stick and it's like a little miniature rosette. So I just went ahead and stuck it in here so it'll just be extra cute. See, I got a lot going on. I have no self-control. So I thought this would be perfect in replacement of a card. You can put a card in here, a gift card, whatever. This right here is attached. So if you've seen bonus video, this part doesn't come off. So um, yeah, I absolutely love it. And I thought it was adorbs, right? Everything goes with each other. Now the last one I did is this one right here. And I know everybody that's shabby lovers are gonna be like, oh my gosh, because it's super shab. So I did the same concept, picked a different paper. I did glue um, stickles all the way around it. And then I have a beautiful doily here, another one here, and another one here. And then another, what you call it. And then right here in the middle, see, so you'll see that, oops, it's a shaker. Everything's gonna move 
flow through there. But this right here is an altered button that I did. So it was a super cute heart button that was purchased from Joann's. And then all of these cute little, this is where you get all your cute little tidbits that you got. And you just start layering on the button. So this whole piece is sitting on top of this um, plastic thingy. So I thought it was adorable. So I added that. Then right here, this beautiful stick pen Elizabeth made me a while ago, and I've just hoarded them. So it went with everything that I was doing. And these right here are wild orchid flowers that have stickles on them. These are some tassels. I don't remember. I think these were Michaels. You, know, you guys should remember, but they were from a while ago. So I used those. I strung them on the stick pen before I stuck it in so that they could hang freely. And when I'm ready to gift these, I might add a bow here. I'll probably add more. I didn't put anything on the sticks yet. So I'm going to wait to see because um, these are being gifted. And then this is the back. Now, when doing these type of big ones, when you use these, <clears throat> excuse me, these straws, you want to make sure that you shove the straw all the way to the center. And then you just have to squeeze the tip because you know that it gets tighter inside and squeeze the tip and then shove it all the way through because it's top heavy and um, you want to make sure it lasts and you have to double straw it. And then this one right here. So you see that this is the pocket back here. And then I just altered it. I just added all of these cute little finds. And then this right here is another little cupcake pick. And these one right here with the little hearts. These were from Tuesday morning. So, and then I just stick on both of them. I went ahead and I stickled all the way around the heart. Okay. And then I just added this super cute flower from my um, flower punch that I got from Hobby Lobby that I absolutely love. And then I just, <clears throat> excuse me, I went through all my pre-cut um, die cuts that I had and started using those. And it's just on the stick, so it's perfect just to stick in. It's small. So I just have it sitting here just for added extra because, you know, Anna doesn't have self-control. And that's it. So see how cute that everything is in one. So I don't need a card because you're going to get a little note and a little something something. But look at how beautiful that is. I love these mama jamas. Look at that. <laughs> Of ridiculous right but I don't care I like to do a little over the tap so these are my little creativities that I worked on earlier in the week so thank you guys so much for stopping by and you guys are so awesome thank you so much for your comments you guys are really beautiful I tell you it, it's it there's times when I'm laughing because some of you guys are pretty funny <laughs> so and there's times where I'm just smiling because I'm like you guys you guys really know how to make a girl feel great so thank you so much um, for leaving comments and um, and for your thumbs up you know I don't um, feel comfortable asking for thumbs up so I don't do that because um, I just want to do the video you know so so um, thank you guys that, that, that do that. I appreciate it. And thank you for viewing. And if you don't leave a comment, thank you for just watching. And I will be back tomorrow for Sunday jewelry tutorial. So make sure you stick around. And I will see you guys later. Have an amusing and beyond blessed day. Bye.